I'm so sorry. I'm I'm not engaged. And I, I, I the reason the reason I'm asking is that I'm not saying that I am speaking on behalf of the royal establishments in this country. But since they form the majority of the, the, the poor and disenfranchised, I need to be clear because my next stop is to go to my uncles and my elders in the House of Chiefs to say, do you understand what is going on, on in the other house? So that there is some sort of checks and balances because we're being held hostage, okay? Now, my, my final question is, how, and, and by the way, uh, before the Christians came here, we had our own religions. We were doing just fine, number one. Number two, in my part of the world, we were Muslim first before people converted to Christianity. So I was very concerned about what Linda said about, you know, uh, being a Christian nation, being aspirational. What it feels like, again, is that we're moving closer to a theocracy. You have taken advantage of the poor, you have taken advantage of superstition, and, and you bring this uh, national day of prayer. What is going on is, is not Christian. It's not Christian. No, don't. Tutu, you are talking about, oh, if you don't like me. You, you took time. You took time. Right? So listen. Listen. Order. Order. Listen. Order. Listen. Order. Hold on. Final hold question. On. Final hold question. Order. Shall we have order, please? Final question. Final question. So does it mean that if this bill goes through and I'm talking to people, and I say, oh, our ancestors are not pleased with this. Well, the Christians now come to me and say, no, she's an ancestor worshipper. Let's arrest her and so on. But my final question, uh, please, Mr. Mwimbu, Honorable Mwimbu, Linda, and uh, um, uh, Mr. Uh, State Council, how can we get rid of this thing immediately? 